In today's show, we have information on the musical and the stand up with Stuco. We are making stories by teens for teens, creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. If you didn't get the chance to see the musical last weekend, we went and asked the theater department about the play. We caught up with a few members from the musical to see what their thoughts were on it. My favorite part of the musical was probably just getting to know everyone and it was just a great experience overall. I think my favorite part was just getting to work with my kids and um, we had a lot of new people on the show and I had a lot of kids that were returning so I just love getting to spend all that time with kids and watch them. Uh, my favorite part of the musical was working with uh, such a talented uh, cast and crew. They started rehearsals in December and worked on it almost every day after school. I would definitely do the musical again. It was so much fun and anyone who's interested in it next year definitely join us. It will be so much fun. Oh, Warner. Vivian dumped you in a sheet. Not right away, but you know, maybe someday. Um, down the road if I feel like we have the kids to pull it off again. I would most definitely do the play again. Um, I love acting um, and the show has a great message behind it so I would most definitely do the show again. I think if we would have had more time um, it could have been polished a little bit more but you know what um, I think it was really good for a high school show it was super fun. I loved it and I think the only thing that I would do is add more shows because I was really sad when it was over. Uh, honestly, if I could change one thing about it, it would be to have more time to spend. I hope you guys went to the musical and just remember that being you never goes out of style. Looks like they had a lot of fun making that one. Now, let's get into your announcements. If you need Afterglow tickets, they will be on sale before school and during lunch. If you need an outside date form, see Ms. Vonner or Mrs. Naylor in the front office. The deadline to turn them in is next Tuesday. If you want to go on the Spain trip, there's an informational meeting tonight at 5.30. Anyone who is interested can attend or visit Ms. Martinez for more information. Seniors, if you want to speak at graduation, check your Schoology page for the sign-up link. You will need to submit your speech to Mrs. Kate Welch by April 15th for her to review. If you'd like to draw, tonight is art night from 6 to 7.30 in room 901. Basic drawing materials will be provided. Sophomores and juniors interested in Washburn Tech should plan to attend the open house on April 16th. For more information, check out the flyer on your Schoology page. Any student interested in being a Spirit Club officer next year needs to pick up an application from Mrs. Geis. Applications are due April 10th. Anyone who was unable to attend yesterday's meeting for Auxiliary Band Dance Team can email Mrs. Hurt to find out more. Tryout packets can be picked up in W-12 or in the office. FBLA competed yesterday with four students placing first, two placing second, and two placing third. Allie went and talked to Mrs. Alaker to find out more on Stuco. Hey Bikes, I'm here with Ms. Alaker to talk about Stuco applications. So what are the requirements? Okay, so if you're a new student wanting to become one of our members, you have to attain 50 signatures of students that say you would be great. And then five teachers that also say, yes, you'd be great at student council. The returning members, same thing, 50 signatures, five signatures, and then they have to have 10 um, hours of community service, so five hours per semester. There's a little tiny essay that they have to do. It's all right here. If you would like to be a member, please come see myself or Mr. Riley, and we'll get an application. And they're due, they are due on the 12th. Friday the 12th. Awesome. If you're interested, make sure and pick up a copy. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to sign up for Stuco if you're interested. Now over to sports with me. Hey. 
somewhat of a song expert and host of the world famous Guess the Song, Ethan Guzman has hidden small rectangular shaped pieces of cardboard around the school. If you are one of the lucky contestants that returns one of these cards to him, you can be in the next Guess the Song. So start hunting. The JV track meet was yesterday. The girls took first and the boys took second. Varsity will be competing tomorrow at the Topeka High Invitational. C Team Softball is competing in Lawrence today and the swim team will be at the 501 Notatorium. Volleyball. Volleyball information parent meeting will be on April 11th in the Commons at 6 p.m. Grayson Seavers will be signing today uh, at 1030 for soccer in the Northwest Missouri State. Congratulations. Now let's check out the weather with Josh. Good afternoon to you. Today we're topping out again in the 60s, but there is still a chance to have some isolated sprinkles later this afternoon. Here's the picture by 3 o'clock, so as we're he you're heading home from school, just some isolated blips of green. We're not expecting much with this activity, but just keep that in mind for a little bit later on today. Now this weekend is looking very nice temperature-wise with 70 degrees all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There is a chance of rain mainly late Saturday and then more isolated showers throughout the day on Sunday. It's not going to be a weekend washout, but we are watching that potential for some showers and thunderstorms. So here's the picture at 7 o'clock Saturday evening. You can see a pretty good area of rain and storms encompassing the central and eastern portions of the state. So we'll be tracking that for you come Saturday. And checking out the seven-day forecast, you can see 70-degree weather is with us from Friday all the way through next Wednesday. We do introduce a storm chance on Wednesday, and that one we may have to watch for the potential for strong to severe weather. It is that time of year. Now, Carson, back to you. That's it for today, Vikes. We'll see you back here tomorrow.